Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 37 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I decided to just toss a sprinkler in here. I wanted to speed up our tree farm a little bit. I mean, it's doing a good job, it's just not quite super fast. Um, it's producing wood, but just not as fast as I would like it to, especially considering our new sin gas generator that we made last episode. Uh, so I threw a sprinkler down here in the corner, uh, which seems to be working. It's, it's a little hard to tell if it's working for sure, but the way I validated it is I just did a quick tick accelerate on it, and then I found a bunch of oak wood in this corner springing up very quickly, uh, which tells me that, yeah, it's working, right? It's not crazy, but it's good, and I'll take good. I'll take good. Good's good. I'm good with good. Uh, so things are going well, though, I would say. I would say things are going nice. Uh, we've got, you know, definitely some sin gas in here. We definitely burned through some, uh, probably because overnight we, you know, we used a little bit. Uh, but now that it's daytime again, we're not using any more thanks to the nice little bit of automation we set up last time. So that's cool. Um, and then shortly, I'm assuming we'll see some oak logs. You know what else I did? Uh, and that's why it's not running right now. I was like, why don't we have any? I've, I've made a whole bunch, right? Uh, I made it so that the threshold here would be 320. So that is, uh, what, five stacks? Uh, so that we would always have 256-ish or more available of oak wood. I just wanted to have more oak wood available at all times. So now we should see a little bit of a net gain of, of wood coming in. If we don't, I'll throw a couple more sprinklers in. Like, I could put a sprinkler in every corner down there, and, uh, that would be cool. I think we'll, we'll figure that out. For now, though, I want to, I want to play around, uh, with Create, and specifically I want to work towards, uh, a moving platform with Create. And I want to see what we can come up with. Today is going to be an experimentation episode where we figure out um, how to do create moving platforms. That's the plan. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, so for that, in create, we're going to need a handful of things. So first I'm going to put away all the things we don't need. And I'm going to be ready with all the things that we want, right? Uh, so you can go away, you can go away, you can go away. And that should all be pretty cool right there. Okay. So from create, few things we're gonna need. Sticky mechanical pistons for sure. Uh, and I might I might wanna start auto crafting these. Um, so from create, we're definitely gonna want some sticky mechanical pistons, which is gonna need mechanical pistons. How are we for slime balls? Are we, we have a little bit, so that's cool. That's good. Um, no concerns there. The other thing we're probably gonna want is this thing, the sticker, which looks pretty interesting. Um, I guess I don't need to autocraft that because it's pretty easy to get, so we'll stick with that. Um, and then we're definitely gonna want some piston poles. Uh, so I have a few of them, that's cool. We're also gonna need some form of rotational energy generation. And I hate having to build on a moving platform uh, something that generates rotational energy like water wheels and that kind of thing, because that's just a big old hassle to move. So what I'm thinking I'll do is check out uh, from one of the Create add-ons uh, uh, a motor. This guy from Create Crafts and Additions. It's an electric motor, which basically you give it RF and it will produce rotational force for you, which is super cool. Um, very, very nice. Yeah. So we'll give it, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that. Now for that to be made, I'm pretty sure we're going to need some mechanical crafters um, along with some other stuff, but it's not terribly insane to make. Uh, we will need some iron rods, it looks like. Um, now we can get iron rods this way, so I'll probably do that. And then we'll also need some copper wire, which might need, might need the rolling mill. So yeah, we'll probably get a rolling mill going too today. So let's check these out, right? So rolling mill, uh, we'll make one of these. Uh, and then we're also going to want some mechanical crafters. Now, I'm probably going to want uh, these guys at some point. So I should get 21 mechanical crafters. Um, that's on my to-do list, right? So we're going to need brass casings for this. Uh, so let's check out automating with brass casings. Yeah, or, or, or whatever we want to do over here. And this is a good example of when we're going to want oak hooking. Right, so uh, I believe it's a deployer here, right? Um, so if I stuck you there and rotated you appropriately, there we go. Now we're ready for the deployer. So if we want brass casings, right, all we would need 
is to put like eight brass in there and then he would go in that guy and then we can get some oak logs I think my magnet is, is doing magnety things there we go sweet you guys are are doing things wrong ish I want that so that I can filter you pretty sure I can filter you there that's the filter slot because we want stripped oak logs so he was doing hollow oak logs or brass casings we don't want hollow oak logs like no thank you uh so I'll probably just even trash can you okay uh and then Now he should always make the appropriate kind of thing. Sweet. Awesome. That works for me. And then if we want andesite, we can do it that way too. I can spell andesite. I promise. Okay. So then we do eight of you and eight of you, and you'll make andesite casings for me. Cool. That's pretty nifty. And we can set up auto crafting for that through the AE system for sure. For sure. That works. And that's andesite crafting. Awesome. I like it. That looks good, right? Okay. Hey, I like this workshop. I definitely like it. And we can do a similar thing for um, precision mechanisms, uh, which we will probably want to do, right? Um, so here, this is what's set up for the precision mechanisms, okay? Um, I think we want it to be like that. There you go. Cool. And then we want a brass funnel whose job will be to sit here it's kind of hard to see I want you to actually do this but I want to filter that okay so this is a precision mechanism maker uh, precision mechanisms need to five times you put a gold thing in and you do cogwheel large cogwheel iron nugget okay so iron nugget And then cog wheels and large cog wheels. Can you just do that and like that for me? That would be. Oh, you're low on andesite? Really? Okay, if you say so. Do you use small cog wheels to make that? You don't, right? Okay, good. Perfect and perfect. Cool. Okay, so you're gonna go uh, small. And then large and then iron nuggets okay and then you go here perfect cool 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 and then we get a gold plate If I'm not mistaken, that's what this setup is designed for, right? You're going to do that, that, that. Now, I want to snag this so that I can add this to the filter. So he gets pulled in, and then eventually he makes his way into here, right? So it's five iterations of that, right? That's pretty cool. Oh, wrong thing. You go in here. One, two, three, hold in. One, two, three, hold in. And then at the end, he turns into a precision mechanism, which does not match the filter to it, so he doesn't get sucked in. And that's what those three item vaults are for. That is cool. That is cool beans, right? And occasionally you get something wonky out of that. Um, so it's like an 80% chance you'll actually get the precision mechanism, and a 20% chance you'll get random salvage, which is a random item from Create. Um, but that's okay. Sweet. 
We got our precision mechanisms. So cool. Okay, where can I throw this rolling mill? Uh, how about like right here? That looks like an exceptional place to throw a rolling mill. How cool is that? Um, so if I wanted if I wanted copper wires, I need copper sheets to go on there. So let's get some copper. And real quick, I just want to see how this works. Can I just toss that on there and what will you spit it out? You won't spit it out, but I can right click to take it. So that works for me. Can I click these in here? No, just drop them in. Sweet. If I wanted to, I could set up like a belt system for that, I assume. I'm guessing it works very similar to this. I'll just wait for there not to be any particle effects anymore, and then I'll assume you're done. Does that work? Works for me. Cool. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get um, these guys, right? Uh, so I need crafting tables. Times seven-ish more. So technically I only need... Technically I only need 21 of these, right? Uh, and those 21 should be sufficient to make the electric motors we need 12. Alternators 12, 10, 7, 9, 7, 5, 21 for crushing wheel. That's the big one. Okay, crushing wheel is the main is the main thing we need to craft with that. Cool. Now uh remind me what else I need for that electric motor. I need these guys, which is just iron in the rolling machine. Cool. So I want to set up these mechanical crafters, and that's one downside to this workshop. I don't think there's a spot for them that I can see, that I'm aware of. Now I could throw it in the basement, that would be option one, or we could go up here and throw it in, in the roof, that would be option two. Uh, haven't entirely decided what I wanna, how I wanna do that yet. Um, if I, can I sneak up there? Is that a, do I have enough room if I threw an elevator up there for that to fit or not really? Eh, I'm gonna say not really. I'm gonna say not really enough room. I mean, I could make room, right? So we could either have it up there or, like I said, in the basement. Might might, might go the route of the basement. Okay, so you're cool, and then you guys can go in there. And that should wind up making uh, the rods for me. Sweet. I love Create. It's such a cool mod. It really is. The one thing I will say is using um, the electric motor feels a little cheaty. But then, eh, I also say, eh, it's okay. So five by five is the structure you want. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then cool. And that's the structure you're gonna need. And then if you wanna do an electric motor, you just need a portion of that. So that should be cool. Now, the other thing you wanna do is rotate these guys. Let's see, so that everything kind of goes to one point. That should be cool, right? So everything will go down, everything will go across, these guys will go up, and everything will combine here. And then I usually throw a barrel here, because that's a nice little structure to do stuff with. Okay, now we just need some rotational energy. Shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to do um, some cog wheels and just be fine with that. So I'm thinking like cog wheel, cog wheel, boom. And now you guys are ready to roll. Nice. So then if I wanted a crushing wheel, um, right, that's not a, a terrible thing. We can totally get one of those. Uh, we need some andesite alloys. Some oak, uh, is it logs or wood? I always forget. Any planks, yeah. So, so just you know, four of you. And then what goes in the middle there? Is it stone? Yeah, any stone. So andesite would actually do. Okay, so andesite in the middle. One, two, three, four and then andesite alloys all around. 
And when when you want to craft with this, you either completely fill up all the available crafters. So once I place that, they will all be full. So it'll start crafting. Or if they're not full, you give it a redstone signal. So see everything combining together for us? Sweet. Ta-da! Crushing wheels. Yay! All right. Then uh, let's get ourselves the electric motor. So for this, okay, we're going to need... Uh, an andesite alley. We're going to need some copper spools, which needs empty spools, which are easy enough. Put you guys away for a minute. Um, so three copper spools. Okay. You can go away. You can go away. I only need one of you, I want to say. Yes. We're also going to need capacitors, which need zinc plates. Okay. That's not a big deal. We can make that happen. And copper sheets. Also not a big deal. We can make that happen. Zinc. And copper. And what else were they? Redstone torches? Yeah. Just make sure we have a bunch, right? Never hurts. Perfect. Now I'm pretty sure I can't tick accelerate. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. That's neat. All right, I'll take that. All right, so then uh, for the electric motor, we'll want our capacitor then. And then we want uh, the iron rod and six brass sheets. Actually, I have brass in my inventory. Iron rod, six brass sheets, okay? So for this recipe, I always take like a screenshot of it and then I can look at it on my second monitor because I'm bad at remembering things. Doot, 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 doot. And then uh, the rod in the middle, the capacitor under the rod, and then U3, and that's it, right? Oh, and the andesite at the top. Okay, now this is an example of uh, we did not fill, <clears throat> fill up the uh, whole whole pattern thing. So then we give it a redstone signal and it'll craft. And if it's a valid craft, it'll make the item. If it's not, I think it just dumps all the items into there. And you can use that to craft like literally anything. Like I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could do something like this. Right, so any any crafting recipe is doable like this. See? Vanilla furnace. Boom. Easy peasy. Good deal? All right, so now we've got our electric motor. These things are super cool. Um, probably OP, probably broken, but also convenient for when you want to do something like this. So like generally I don't like using these because they feel, they feel cheaty to me. They feel cheaty, but then you use them and you're like, that's so good though. It's so good. I don't want to not use it. Um, but basically this, and then we got some flux, and that's all she wrote. It's easy, easy as that. Ta-da! And then we can use, uh, this guy here to adjust the speed, right? And the faster you rotate, the more RF usage there is, right? So we're using a healthy amount of RF per tick, uh, to get that spinning. Okay, and eventually he runs out of RF and stops, right? So, broken, yes. Also cool, though, and very useful for what we're going to do, which is a moving contraption, because um, most of your other ways of generating rotational energy require a hefty amount of, uh, of, 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 of multi-blocking, and that's not easy to move around on a big structure like that. Um, so now for your, let's, let's give you power again, and let's just see how much, if I put my goggles back on. So you generate actually, nice, 2048 stress units. Not bad. Not a huge amount, by the way. Like, that's a pretty small amount if you compare. And it costs RF. So, like, the benefit here, you really want to, like, you know, cost benefit this, right? If we come over here, we'll find... I really need I really need to get a jetpack. Before I do any, any, any multi-block... Right? So like this is generating four times the stress units for free. Literally it just sits here and makes it for free. There's zero cost 
There's zero input, right? No RF, no fuel, no nothing. It just works. Uh, and most of the other create rotational things are like that as well. Um, steam boiler is like a big one. If you want to get like a crazy amount of stress units, you'd go steam boiler and that uses coal, but meh, fine, right? All right, so now that we've got this stuff all done, let's look at how we're going to how we're gonna do this, right? So a sticky mechanical piston. I know we definitely want two of these. I think we want to teach you how to make the piston extension poles, just so you know how to make them for future uses, okay? Uh, so let's get two of them, boom, boom, boom. And then that should be easy peasy. And I know we don't have a lot of slime balls. We should look into this at some point. Um, there's, I mean, there's definitely ways to get them. I'll come up with something. Fluid converter, okay. And you can get them, oh really, biofuel and clay get you slime balls and metan, okay. Is that a new recipe and mechanism? I'm not familiar with that one. Liquid slime, eh. We can take all these leads and magma creams that we've been getting. Yeah. I mean, we haven't been getting lots of magma creams, but the main probably good way to go about it would be dough and lime dye. Um, but yeah, we'll figure we'll figure something out. So let's take a look at this, right? So let's come up with a little contraption that will hopefully be able to infinitely move forward. And that's kind of the goal of this little build, right? So step one would be a sticky mechanical piston. And let's put you that way. And I'm not great at these. So I might, I might do some reference looking up, but we'll find out. First, I wanna get uh, stuff going, okay? So you're gonna be, are you gonna be a sticky mechanical piston? Uh, no, I think I just want you to be a regular mechanical piston, not sticky. Okay, because I wanna push you forward. Okay, and then other things we're gonna need from Create are gonna be the, uh, not the clutch, but the gear shift. This is the thing that when it receives a redstone signal, it rotates in the other direction, okay? Um, so that's gonna be important for us as well. Now, if I rotated you like so, could I gear shift you like this? That might be a smart way to do this, right? Um, yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. And then we're also gonna to wanna to make sure that we've got super glue at the ready because we're gonna definitely want some super glue. So I'm gonna do this, right? Actually, let's not do that yet. Left click to get rid of that, remember. Um, so you're going to get a redstone pulse, right? And I'm in theory going to want my electric motor to what? Um, so you know what I think I want to do? I think I want to actually have you rotated like this. See, I told you I'm kind of winging this. Uh, I'm not, I'm not amazing at these. And then flux point. So now you should be doing nothing, right? But when you get your, your, your pulse, you should move everything. And that should be cool. Okay. So I'm gonna glue these such that this to here is all one big thing and these four are together. So that when we're looking at it, kind of everything here except the piston goes together, right? Uh, and then we probably also want to include you, right? So now watch what happens. I broke it. That's not what you wanna do, okay? Don't do that. Don't do whatever I just did. Why did you break? Yep, it definitely doesn't like that. Um, what part of you are you not liking? Why are you getting stuck like that? You shouldn't, I think.
He doesn't like some aspect of what I'm doing. Are you actually like... Because you're not a sticky piston, so you should be able to push that. Also, something's weird with this. That's... That's a workaround. Alright, let's try... Let's try something very basic here. I'm just going to glue you guys like so. You know what it is? It might be because we're moving the generator that's doing the mechanical pistoning. That might be part of it. Yes, that's what I would want to see. Cool. Okay. Um, neat. Now, uh, what I'd probably want to do... Can I actually, like, glue all of this together? That would be cool. Do you think I can, like, pull all this back? So if I wanted to do something like... Like that. Is that doable? That could be cool. I don't know if this will work. I kind of want a second one of you, just to see how this works out. Let me make one more of those. Oops. Don't throw breaking spells in the air. Ah! Plague Rat! Ooh, Plague Rat. Let me make one more of those, and I'll be right back. Alright, so a little experimenting. I've got a little bad news... Good news situation. Good news is it's working. Bad news is it's not moving the flux point. And if you check, flux points have the forge relocation not supported tag on them, which means flux points don't like to be moved by contraptions. It's going to be a little bit of a problem for us. So let's go see if we can solve that. Uh, I wonder if tesseracts support it. Uh, so I'm going to make a pair of tesseracts here and see how that goes. Um... So what I'll do is I will set up a Tesseract. Oh my, look at you. Redstone disabled energy, Tesseract energy. We're gonna create a network. We're gonna call it RF main. That sounds cool. Okay. Uh, activate. Okay. Cool. Now can I do that? And you'll shove energy into RF main. Apparently yes. Cool. Waiting for this plague to wear off. Almost there. And then if I told you RF main activate, would you start getting energy? Oh, you do. Sweet. Energy RF main. Okay, cool. Items, energy, and fluids. Nice. All right. Now the question is, do you have that tag? Tesseract Minecraft. Da, 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 da. I don't see anything about no relocation. So that's a good time. I just want to do this in a relatively efficient way. That should be cool. Okay, yes, but no. Why did you lose? So he loses his setting when he moves. That's a bummer. He becomes inactive when he moves. Okay. Transfer mode, send and receive. That's a bummer. So like he kinda, he can be moved but then he loses his setting when he's moved. Mmm. Bad times, my friends. Bad times. That's not gonna work either. Okay, let me try another thing. All right, let's try this. So I'm gonna give you guys energy. I'm gonna do this and this. Oh boy, you did a whole thing, didn't you? So, extract. Always active. Insert for fluids. And then in theory, yes. Is that cool? You've got power now. Good. All right. And then do some of this. And then hopefully you extract that fluid. Good. And then you guys do that. And you made that. Sweet. All right. And then I'm going to try an energy transfer node from Cyclic. Again, no idea if this will work. Uh, 
but we can try it and find out, right? Uh, so question one is, do you have the, yeah, you don't seem like you care about being moved so far. Uh, so how does this work? Energy always on, uh, cyclic, looks like there's some kind of card thing that goes in there. GPS data card saves the location of a block. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Ew. Ew. Does that not work the way I think it does? Energy transfer node. What do you do exactly? Wireless transmission of energy. Yeah, I the, the name hinted at that, but now I'm wondering if, uh, I'm guessing what I do is I GPS locate the block and like click on it and that's how it'll get power. Yeah. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably not gonna work with, with a moving platform either. Oh boy, we are like 0 for 3 here, aren't we? A little bit. Now that said, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, I have an idea. Do you not know how to make these yet? Come on, direwolf. Get with the program. Eh? Could work. Could work. Uh, let's do let's do some some basic. 32 R of a tick, you think that's enough? How much R of a tick do those, do those generators use? Energy usage, 60 R of a tick. So we're definitely gonna want more than 32. We should go for like 128 is really what we should go for. So that would be a tier four solar, right? Um, Let's do this real quick. Because if we threw a solar on there, then it would just produce power and we wouldn't have to worry about wireless, right? That could be cool. Right, so then you, and then you, and then you probably need to be in there. And then you probably need to be in there. We'll see what I'm missing. Okay, you already know how to make those. Uh, you need to know how to make these. And then finally, you just need to know how to make this. And that might work. So if I wanted 128 RF per tick, that just needs more clay balls. Really need to do something about my lack of clay at some point. Does that have like a thing I can do with, uh... no, not really. That seems doable, right? Bing, bang, boom. Uses a lot of ingredients, but that might be sufficiently cool. Okay, that seems pretty good. And that actually got me two solar panel mark fours. So what I could do, forget a capacitor, forget flux points. As long as you don't have the forge relocation not supported thing going on, hopefully that'll be cool, right? That would be cool. So you add that, right? So you are... So as a reminder, I'm gonna wind up putting this in um, the mining dimension, which is always day, right? This mining dimension is always daytime, so solar should always work in theory. We'll find out. Whee! Hey, that worked. Okay, okay, that works for me, right? Sweet, okay, and then you, um, yeah, you don't push forward because of that being stuck. <clears throat> so what we want to do now is something slightly different. 
And I think what we want to try out <coughs> is the sticker for redstone controlled block attachment. Right? Okay. Cool. So when it gets a redstone signal, it toggles whether or not it's connecting and then it toggles it not. Okay, cool. Good deal. So I think what we want to do then is this. You ready? Uh, let's push this forward, get him out of there, break this. Okay. And then what is going on right now? Did I break something? Did you not appreciate that I broke you while you were pushed forward? Nope, you were just being derpy for a sec. Okay. And then piston extender. And then sticker. Okay. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure what I want to do is this. Let's. Kill that, and then we're going to do you to you, and then you to you, and you to you. Okay, so now if I push you forward, it should have no problem. Okay, what did you just do? Oh, you pushed something, didn't you? Kinda. Yeah, you weren't supposed to do nothing. Let's reverse your speed so that you want redstone off. Yes. Okay, cool. Good deal. I'm going to give you um, one more of these so you can go get him. All right, so check this out. Uh, we need a button here for a sec. And that will toggle that. Okay, now you should be able to go get that thing and pull it in. Cool. Okay. So now, and then we toggle this off. And then we don't need that no more. All right. So you ready? Watch. So this should push this whole contraption here forward one. Perfect. That's what I wanted. And now where's your stickiness going? Because I want you guys back to being all one happy, friendly dude. So technically, I don't need this anymore, right? Correct. And that's all one big friend. Okay, perfect, 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 right? So now we activate this. Oh, you're there. Oh, uh, yeah, that should probably just be moved back. Um, yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Told you I wasn't very good at this. But we're trying. Right? And then I had you going this way with the solar panel sitting on top. Yes? Cool. Okay. And then the lever here and the button there. Perfect. So then you're going to go from here to here, and you're going to get all that stuff. Cool. So now with, with this activated, he's sticky, right? So then we do this and pull it back. And then we deactivate him, and this will push everything forward. No, it will not. Why did you not? Why did you not move all that stuff? Are gear shifts like, gear shifts have to be. Cool, right, he should be able to, to grab all that. Um, 
Maybe he doesn't like that there's not pieces here. That could be. It might be that he doesn't like that. All right, so that should be cool now. Let's let's give that a try. Will you push it all? You push it all. Good. Okay, so now no longer sticky. Regular mechanical piston here, right? So then we push that whole contraption forward. We give you a signal. Killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah. Um, he's trying to push himself, and that's why he's getting stuck. I really want him to just push this guy. Um, yeah. I don't want him... This is a sticky, right? So I realistically don't want this to exist. So what if I moved this over one? I could do that, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna be a sticky and then you're gonna be this. You're gonna get this and for now you can be just a shaft but I might wind up moving him closer. And let's make sure that this is removed. So now you're going to go from here to here. Okay. Um, but realistically, I want to make sure that we have as much connections as we can. So you and you. Does that sound cool? Okay. So now if I give you a redstone signal. All right, you need to have... A shaft there, right? So now give you a redstone signal. You can move forward, no problem, right? So I activate you. Stick, pull, deactivate you. Okay? And then you push everything forward. No, you don't want to push everything forward. Boo. Like I said, tricky. Bring that back, please. Why did you not want to move everything forward? Um, oh, because you are for some reason not. You know what I might do? I might have to move this forward. I might not need you guys, right? I might not. So if I move you closer, right? What if we just put the um, gear shift here with the lever? Okay. And then we had the motor, you guy reversed, and our solar. Okay. And then you to you, so that that whole contraption is one thing. And you with you for the time being. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. Now let's make you not sticky anymore. Because remember, that's the key. We don't want him to be sticky. Cool. that pulls everything forward nice and then you turn off and you can push everything there forward nice that's what we're after cool so this is um not super great but pretty good uh not terrible right so you're active now and then you stick and pull and then you're deactivated and then you push forward that kind of works right i think that kind of works Gonna have to, uh, gonna have to see. Now I need to automate that. But we're gonna wait till next episode. So this is like the basics of how a, how an inchworm drive would work. There's probably better designs, if we're being honest, right? I probably don't need you. Okay. Um, what I will probably wind up doing is having you here with the solar right on top. 
So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna improve this between episodes, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fiddle with it and see if we can't make it a little better between episodes. Uh, for now, though, it's wrapping up point. So that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, hopefully make it a, a slightly more efficient inchworm drive. I'm going to play with it off camera, make it a little better if I can. Uh, and then we'll look at automating it next time. For now, take it easy.